This video shows you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded and an out of paper error message displays on the control panel. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, make sure the printer is powered on. If it is off, press the power button. Next, turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved you can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed correctly. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper but no more than 25 sheets in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, and then tap it on a flat surface to align the edges perfectly. Raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth, clean cotton swabs, clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Remove the duplexer. To do this, push the right side of the duplexer to the left and then pull out on the duplexer. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. 
Use your finger to turn the roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Look for the paper pick rollers farther inside the rear of the printer. You might need to use a flashlight to illuminate the pick rollers. Blot the swab on the cotton cloth to remove excess water. The swab should be damp, but not soaking wet. Clean the rollers with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. These rollers are difficult to reach, but they are the most important to clean. If these rollers inside the printer are not cleaned, this problem will continue because these are the rollers that feed the paper into the printer. Now let's clean the rollers in the duplexer. Access the paper feed rollers by pressing the two tabs on both sides of the duplexer to open it. Clean the paper feed rollers in the duplexer with a moistened lint-free cloth in the same way you cleaned the rollers inside the printer. Check the rollers to make sure they are clean, free of debris, and rotate freely. Close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. While the duplexer is removed from the printer, check the hard plastic rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding paper properly and mean that the duplexer needs to be replaced. Reattach the duplexer. To do this, insert the two pegs on the left side of the duplexer into the left side of the printer and then push the duplexer into place. Make sure the duplexer is firmly attached. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools, then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, try printing it again. Listen for the rubber paper pick rollers. You should be able to hear them rotating. Then, try slowly pushing the paper farther in until the roller engages to pick up the paper. Be careful to only push one sheet of paper and not to push it in too far. This can cause paper jams. If the page does not print when slowly pushing the paper farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step. Your printer may need to be serviced. If the page prints when slowly pushing the paper farther in, try printing your original document again.
The paper might not have been loaded far enough into the printer. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the paper only feeds through the printer when you slowly push it farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step. Your printer may need to be serviced. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. On your computer, return to the document in the program you were trying to print from when the issue occurred. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to open the Printing Properties window. Click Properties. When the Properties box opens, click the Features tab. Select the Paper Type drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper type. Select the Size drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper size. Click OK. And then click OK again to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.